In this video, we're going to look at trying to find the inverse of a quadratic function. So the function f is such that f of x is 2x squared minus 16x plus 5, where x is greater or equal to 4. Find the inverse function f to the minus 1. Let's write down the function to begin with. So f of x is 2x squared minus 16x plus 5. So first of all, you let y be equal to 2x squared minus 16x plus 5. And then in order to find the inverse function, we need to make x the subject. And in order to do that, we will have to complete the square. So we need to complete the square for 2x squared minus 16x plus 5. So the first step is to group these two terms together and take out any common factor because we've got 2x squared here, so that's going to be 2. So we're going to y is equal, and we're going to be left with x squared minus 8x plus 5. And then we look at this number here, and we take half. A half of 8 uh, minus 8 is minus 4. And then we rewrite this as 2 bra brackets x minus 4. Notice there's no longer an x here squared, because if you were to expand x minus 4 squared, you're going to get x squared minus 8x. Uh, plus 16. Now, in doing this process, uh, we've also got the plus 5. Now, in doing this process here, we have actually added in a number. This is what's called completing the square. So we've added in minus 4 squared times 2. If you're not sure why, why I've picked that, take this bit here and expand it, and you will see that at the end, we have added in to this function 2 times minus 4 all squared, which is 2 times 16. Minus 4 squared is 16, which is 32. So if we've added 32, we will need to subtract 32 here. And then we can rewrite this as y is equal to 2x minus 4 all squared minus 27. Right, we now need to make x the subject, having now completed the square. So the first step would be to add 27 to both sides. So we're going to get that y plus 27 is equal to 2x minus 4 all squared. The next step will be to divide by 2. So divide by 2, we're going to get y plus 27 divided by 2 is equal to x minus 4 all squared. Now remember here that x is greater than or equal to 4. So the next step, the opposite of square, is to take the square root. Now, when you take the square root, you can take plus the square root and minus the square root. But we're going to take plus the square root as x is greater or equal to 4. And so we're going to get the plus the square root of y plus 27 over 2 is equal to x minus 4. Adding 4 to both sides, we're going to get the square root of y plus 2, y plus 27 over 2 plus 4 is equal to x. We now rewrite this function here, because this is the inverse function, in terms of x. So f to the minus 1 of x is going to be equal to the square root of x plus 27 over 2 plus 4, which is the answer. Now, let's just look at this uh, graphically using this GeoGebra app that I've done. OK, so here, with the green function here is f of x is 2x squared minus 16x plus 5 is x is greater or equal to 4. And here we have the inverse function we just found with f to the minus f to the minus 1 of x of the square root of x plus 27 over 2 plus 4. Now we know in order to get the inverse function, if we've got the original function, we want to find the inverse function, then all we need to do is to reflect it in the line y is equal to x. We can see that the red graph is a reflection of the blue graph in y is equal to x. Now, we know if we draw a quadratic, we sort of get a u-shape or a happy face or an unhappy face. So if we uh, look what happens when x is less than 4, so when x is less than 4, there's four, x is 4 there, then if we continue the quadratic, we get this bit here. And then the inverse for that will be the blue dotted line here. But this won't be plus the square root. This would be minus the square root of, of x plus 27 over 2 plus 4. 
because a quadratic is a many to one function, okay, and you know that it, you cannot have a one to many function, that's not a function. So if you include the whole thing, try to find the inverse of the whole thing and include the whole thing, this graph here, that means the red bit and the blue bit, is not a function, okay, because what happens is, that, let's say if you take 10 here, it goes to two different things, and therefore it's not considered to be a function. And this is why we have the condition x is greater or less than 4. If we had wanted to find the inverse for x less than 4, then we would have to give this as the answer. The same thing, but with a minus uh, sign in front of the square root. And it might be written as 4 minus the square root of 20, uh, x plus 27 over 2. All right, so this applet I will include in the notes of the video. So just going back, okay, so... This is the red graph here is the actual answer. And this is the original quadratic that we found the inverse of. And you know that you can find the inverse of function if you reflect it in the line y is equal to x. Okay, I hope you've understood. And the uh, GeoGebra app, I'll put in the notes of the video. And I thank you very much for watching.